Tell us your tale of woe, your new <laughs> tale of woe, James. Right, so we've started a project um, and it's on a building notice. So basically it means we can just start building. We don't have to have all of the calculations for everything put in. We can crack on with it and then that can be added in afterwards. It's a fairly standard extension, nothing special. We, well, you didn't think so anyway. We've started it, we've got so far along, the walls have started going up, then all of a sudden the engineers come along and said, hang on a minute, you need to put a wind post in. Just the sheer length of the wall, there's no internal intersecting walls to support it. He said, you've got to put one in. So unfortunately, what we've done in, in starting on a building notice is that we've, we took that risk that we could just build it. But unfortunately, we've come across this problem. We've had to, get a wind post in. What it means is we've had to not, not been able to build this bit of block work on the inner skin so that we can fit this post into the cavity and then we're going to have to rake out, fortunately it's still a bit green this muck for up to that point, we we'll have to rake it out, chem fix it in and then we can build this block work back up and then continue from the first floor up. Bit of a problem but as always we get over it and I think it's a lesson learned for me. Don't start a job unless everything's in place. So this is a fair old lump of metal really, isn't it? It is, yeah. So all stainless steel all the yeah. way through. And thick as and hell, isn't it? Very, yeah. I mean, we're about six mil thick. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's quite hefty, very heavy. Right, so where did this come from? Uh, this came from Keystone Lintels. Yeah, okay. There we go, nice little sticker so there. So what do they make them to measure then? They do, yeah. You can't buy them off the shelf. You have to get all your measurements in place first. So we need to know the height of our slab uh, and then from the slab, we needed to know uh, the height of the first um, brick course, which in yes. fact will be there. And then they, yes. so they put that in and then they go 225 gotcha. all yeah. the way up for yeah. every course. Oh, there's a bit of slot there. Yeah, we've got a bit of play if right. it's a bit up yeah. or down. Um, and then we need to know the height of the underside of our first floor joists. Yeah. Because once, that, once they're in, then we've got this, oh, this big old piece here, which bolts on at that. Point with, so they've wow. measured them holes there. That Man. straps right across, and that's that's quite a weight and all that one. It's a bit sharp on the edges. It is, yeah. You need yeah. some gloves then, mate. Yeah, I do need some gloves. Yeah, I've some. got yours. I'll get some after <laughs> I cut my hand. But, uh, yeah, no, so that is a that is a monster. You will put this on top of a joist or what? So our joists are running oh, along this way. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we we've actually worked it out and gone slightly higher than the underside of the joist because yeah. we didn't want this interfering with plasterboard. Yeah or having to cut around it. So we've gone just a little bit higher gotcha. and we're going to row a row, row of noggins all the way through to take up all of these fixings. Um, and there's a lot of fixings there. So, so well, it ties... Every one of these holes has to be fixed? Yeah. It? yeah. Does it? Well, they've, su they've, su they've supplied enough screws for every single hole, so okay, yeah. I'm going to put one in every hole. Yeah, yeah. You can't They're there. Them, can you? That's it. Quite honestly, mate, I've got to say that this, this whole thing about wind, wind posts and wind loading on walls mm. and so on, this isn't a gable end, is it? Uh, this isn't. No, this is. Oh. This, this only goes up to to gutter line. Yeah. There's a gable on that front wall. And given the fact that it's so sheltered here, yeah, you can't really believe it, can you? I you know. You just look at it. But th the other thing is, if you put steels onto a wall or internal walls, like you say, yeah. then that kind of firms it all up. Anyway, yeah. Doesn't it? So yeah. you can't imagine if you've got a big steel going on there that there would be any any tendency for it to blow around. You wouldn't but have that's thought what so. Say, yeah. you know, it's, anyway. It's, you've got to do it, it's on the drawing, you've that's got to it. do it, and um, you're also going to put some in the ends as well, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> that was another, another one that popped up as well, so now we've got um, the ends of the buildings, and, and I think it's to do with the size of the, the opening. The windows. With, the, yeah, the size of the window openings, yeah. and the panel that's left underneath that, um, because of the, the length of it, oh, okay. from, from corner to corner, yeah, yeah. Um, he's saying that now that's that's prone to being pushed around by the wind because there's no walls coming off of it. Um, but because there is a window there, you can't put the post right up the centre. We've got, so we've now got to put two in, one on either side of the window. Right. This so, guy, this structural engineer, I reckon he's got shares in, uh, in Keystone. I probably. think he has, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there you go. All right, we'll crack on, mate. Can you give me that? Is that it? Yeah, yeah. you got it. We'll just lift that line over. Yeah. I knew this wouldn't be easy. Yeah, it's, I think it's going alright. Get it back so that that is flush with the back of the yeah, inner right. skin. If we push the bottom in a bit, that will help I suppose. So they're going to go a fair way into the block which will help support them. See we've just got to get back about half an inch. And we just pull that top forward a bit. That's it. Okay. 
We've got two bolts to go in the bottom there. Right. Uh, then that block, I can fill that block in, a new bit of damp across there, and then just build it back up again. We were building the conservatory, and the glass wasn't in, but the aqua fell straight through the middle of the French doors and smashed it to pieces. Just totally smashed the corner up. Unfortunately, obviously the damp membrane's broken now, yeah. but because we're having a flow screed, we've got another membrane going over the top. Oh, okay. So a whole other one's going to be in there as well. Yeah, yeah. So we're all right, otherwise we would have had a bit of concern there. We're having to maybe blackjack the floor before we screeded, but we'll be all right. Desperate for me to hit my fingers, aren't you? Anything that makes it go viral, will you? <laughs> Anything. In the wet. It's just like the summertime, really. <laughs> no difference. Used to it now. Tito. Thank mm -hmm. you. 